What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're playing some more eSports UFC 4. We're going to be diving in today with another fight in the WFA. We are going to be facing off against a 7-1, and 1.5 one and star fighter. I'm not, to be honest, looking too forward to it, to be fair. But we're going to rock and roll and see how it goes. Let's, uh, right. So first and foremost, I want to get these takedowns up. Uh, I want to just try and get some of my ground game just improved. Uh, even if it is just like bottom game and, you know... Some stuff like that, some top game. There we go. We increased our ground game quite a bit. Our ground game is actually very good. It's one thing I'm looking forward to seeing how we do in the UFC. We're two and a half stars. This dude's one and a half, I believe. So we should have a little bit of an advantage. And I do feel like it's going to be an interesting one. This dude is a wrestler as well. So when it comes to the grappling side of things, it is going to be interesting to see who has the more dominant positions. The battle of the grapplers, this could be. But this dude is ranked number seven in the WFA. So we are making moves in the WFA. We're now in the top 15. I believe we're ranked number 12. It looks like... If we're lucky and we play our cards right, we could be looking at a WFA title shot very, very soon, which is exactly what we want. So far, so good, man. Ricky Mathis facing off against Max Rossholt. Let's see how this one goes, man. Let's get it. Let's get in there and let's see what happens. I'm excited. This dude's a grappler as well, though. It could be a little bit of an interesting fight. I'm going to keep it standing for a minute um, just to see, you know, a little bit of a feeling out process here. Try and slip him with that jab there. Nice jab there from Mathis. Now, this dude's been talking that smack on Twitter. There we go. See that. Let's see. Let's see. Shoots in there. Nice. Down already. I'm going to go Neon Belly. I'm going to try and just pulp him here. Still on him, though. And we're going to see what he's about. Top mount. Let's see what he's about. If we can mount him. Waiting on the transition denial. I'm going to try and... Ah, man. He's going to be one of these boys, isn't he? He's just going to sit there and, you know, do nothing on his back and, you know. There we go. There we go, Max. There we go. Light him up like a freaking candle, bro. There we go. That's what we want. Try to bait in the shots there. Nice. Sticking with the kickboxing a little bit. Okay, okay, we can be here, bro. Oh, oh, okay. I'm trying to bait in them leg kicks here. Body kick, does not land. Try and get a single. Oh, it's over for you, bro. Slam him down. Okay. I denied that, but that's cool. We go, just start to pound him out a little bit. Ross Holt looking good here. Does reverse it though. This is a he's a he's a jujitsu guy as well, man. We gotta watch out for this. Okay, nice. Full guard. Gotta watch out, man. We pop up that gear team. We gotta watch out for that. Now I do feel like he's gonna be harder to submit just because, like I said, he is a jujitsu guy. And this game is all about prediction. I don't think we got this. I feel like we need to soften him up a little bit. You know? Yeah, he's out. He's out. He's out. He's out. Nice. Okay. Okay. That's fine. We used up quite a bit of stamina doing that, though. Just see. I can get up from here. Nice. Now, I do feel like we're winning the exchanges on the feet, but I'm not looking to try and knock him out on the feet, you know? I'm trying to just wear him down, if anything. Maybe get in a clinch and try and trip him. Oh, nice. Leg kick. Alrighty. There we go. Cracking him. I'm trying to get in the clinch, man. Our footwork, our stand up. Everything about our stand up sucks. There we go. There we go. Why don't we just. Okay, that's annoying. Nice. So we had the submission attempt in this round, but literally that is about it. Ah, fuck. Yeah, these boys are getting a bit harder, which is good. It's good. We want, we want to get these tougher fights. That was a close one, man. I do feel like the ground and pound might have been a uh, a big thing. And, of course, the slam. I forgot about the slam. That's good, though. Good first round. I feel like Ross Holt did take it. Going into round two. It's not, this guy's durable, though. Something we do need to work on, definitely. What I can see is uh, is our grappling, bro. Uh, our, our, uh, our, not our grappling. Our clinch and our uh, our striking is not great. There we go. Sitting down again. And we're going to dive in on top. There we go. There we go. Get them punches rolling, Max. Let's go, brother. Okay. Trying to 
close that gap there. Leg kicks do a good job of that. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay, okay. This is a close fight, man. This dude, this dude's about it. Being in the top seven too, he's a, he's a tough guy. It does show you though that Max is very one-dimensional at the minute. He doesn't have the striking. He's all grappling heavy, you know. That grappling is so good. Okay. I want to see because he's gonna panic. As soon as we get in the side, yeah, he's gonna panic. Watch this. There we go. Yeah, he does not want to be inside control with Max. But we want to be inside. We want to be inside sadder. We're going to butcher him here. Start feeding in them elbows. Nope. Hell no. I'm going to try and just beat him up for a bit. Before we try and lock in another sub. Maybe a choke here. Look south. Tried it. Could have had the guillotine. Try and get out there. Nice. Let's go. Nice uppercut. Oh, oh. Lighting me up a little bit, though. It's a good little fight. I'm liking it. Good movement. Oh, nice knee. Ross Holt, though, is incredibly durable. Okay. Goes for a leg. Gets it. Okay. Here we go. Just going to rain down some shots on him. He is very durable, this guy. Both of these dudes are very, very durable. Okay. Don't throw many head kicks, and that's probably why. Nice. Nice. Good little matchup right here, bro. Tried to throw the knee there, but for some reason it didn't want to land. Good guy. Getting back. For some reason it doesn't dive back on top there. It's a bit annoying. A lot of good work in the clinch, though, from Max this round. Turn him over? No. Okay. Oh, we're using up a lot of stamina here, bro. Got to be careful. Oh. Oh. Okay, the striking is not good. I had a feeling it was going to be like this. I had a feeling it was going to be one of these fights where, you know, they're both of their wrestling is pretty good. Um, so, you know, we, we kind of end up standing quite a bit. Here we go. This round, though, we need to get him out of here. You know, touch gloves, third round, mad respect, bro. But I'm looking to finish you this round, you know. Maybe an arm triangle. I'm going to try it, you know. He's been busted up quite a bit. Let's see how it goes, man. Maybe this is the one, you know. This could be the one. Okay. So far, I'm not so good. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. Just trying to concentrate. If you hear me not commentating as much, you know why. Nah, he's out. He's out. Nice. But he's in a bad position here. He's still on the ground with Max, you know? Okay, we did get side saddle there, right? This is bad. Oh, he was close there. We almost lit him up there, bro. Tried to posture up and get it again. Fortunately, could not. Gonna try and stand with him. Gonna keep moving with this one. Cracking him good, but... You know. Okay. Just gonna go over the top there. Okay. All we really got is that jab leg kick there, bro. It does keep landing, though. It's finding a home. Much timing on that overhand. Little knee there. Really want to get in the clinch with it. It's so easier than just going for a takedown. Here we go. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe it isn't. Here we go. Yeah, back down. 100 takedowns now in his career already. He's in survival mode here, bro. This could go to a decision, to be fair. Which I don't really want. That's not great for us. He's very durable, though, man. He's been eating some shots, man. 
Eating some damn shots, this bro. Let's go. If I try and get up, nope. He's just going to lay on his back and, uh, you know, get smashed. That's fine. That's over. That could be over here. Max landed some good shots. This dude. He is hurt, though. What has Ross Holt got to do, man? This is a big step up in competition for him, though. This is his fourth professional fight. You know, it looks like we could be coaster into a win here. Oh! Beautiful timing. And he tries it again. He cracks him. Just too little too late. The fight is over. What a fight that was. I think that is a decision for Ross Holt. I think so. That should be a decision, right? Did we win? What? Hello? What just happened? Okay, we won. It's so weird how UFC 4 is, man. There's some things that just don't feel polished, you know? But a good win. I'll take it. I do wish we uh, we finished him. I tried to get the sub. I probably should have gone to the ground a little bit more and tried to ground and pound him. But a win, a good dominant win as well against someone in the top 10, I'll take it. You know, I just hope in the next fight we do get given a higher opponent. You know, we was ranked number 12. We just beat ranked number 7. I kind of want 7... Or above, you know. I want. I want to start getting towards that title shot, and uh, I feel like we made a good, uh, a good way in that today. That dude was durable, though. Very, very durable. I tried my hardest to get him out of there, but that guy, man, Jesus, he was tough as they come. Uh, I mean, a win's a win. I'll take it. But I mean, in terms of the WFA, I can see a few people saying, like, bro, you can't finish people in the WFA. Like, man. Okay, we're in this thing to get to the top. Make our mark and get out. Turn down fights and taking too much damage is going to keep you from getting there. Something to be aware of. Got it, coach. You'll see a difference from now on. Wait, what What did we do wrong there? Oh, is that because we didn't finish him? Kelvin Gastelum, the new middleweight champion. That's crazy to see. I like Kelvin's new model, by the way. I thought like that's really cool. And Dustin Poirier, the new lightweight champion. Interesting. Here we go. I feel like we're just improving. We're improving our character. There we go. Rank number eight. I mean, that's, uh, I'll, I'll take it. Fuck it. I'll take it. We're going three weeks. Let's get it, man. Let's go. Here we go again, man. We are getting in there with a 9-2 Carlos Gonzalez. First and foremost, though, we need to make sure we upgrade our, uh, our fight tile. First and foremost, though, I want to get in there and uh, really, really start on our speed. I feel like our speed, we're very, very slow. Our power as well. Maybe even some kick speed. You know, I want to start upgrading our, uh, our stand up a little bit. Our footwork is very, very slow as well. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to upgrade anything else. We've got nine points here. Oh, what is this? Okay, maximum level. Anything else here possible? No. Okay, well, we got nine points in the bank then, ready for something. But here we go. Carlos Gonzalez is next. Let's rock and roll. Get in there with him and see if we can take him out. Hopefully, it is another win for Max Roxholt. I'm really looking to try and get up in like to the top five in this video. Uh, I'm looking as well for an early finish. I don't want another decision. Uh, that fight was tough, the last fight. I feel like it, I don't know about tough. I just feel like we lack the ability to be able to put him away, if that makes sense. We really lack the ability to be able to push forward and throw bombs and land accurately. And uh, it kind of messed us up a little bit. I feel like this time we need to get in there. This dude's a kickboxer as well. So I feel like we're going to have a lot more advantage when it comes to the ground. So I'm going to take him down. We're going to get him on the mat. And uh, we're going to feed him some elbows and then try and lock in the submission. But here we go. Let's see how it goes. This dude is uh, hes going to have some good striking though compared to Max. So but what he might not have is good grappling. As we can see there already in side saddle. And this is where we want to be. Exactly where we want to be. You know, I'm going to just smash him. For as long as I feel like it's necessary. And then we're going to go in for a submission, you know? Let's see how many of these elbows this boy can take. Try and get him in a choke here. I'm trying to just get him out of here early. I want an early finish, you know? I suck at submissions, so this could be bad. Bear in mind we got, like, maximum submission offense, too. Jeez, dude. I'm just bad, bro. This one's close. We're getting there. Oh, get him out. Get him out. That's done. First round finish. That's what we wanted. We wanted to get in there and make a statement. And we did just that. Massive win for Max Rosshole. Absolutely huge for him. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Rosshole gets it done. Very, very early. Got him to the mat, fed him some elbows, and then got him in a north-south choke there. Amazing win for him. 
That's what we wanted, though. We wanted to make a big, big statement, and we did just that with that submission. That was huge for him. Going to keep going. You know what? This is just the beginning, you know. I know I know we're like 12, maybe 14 minutes in the video, but we're going to go again. We're going to try and get another fight in. I'm trying to climb these rankings as quick as possible, guys, and that is what we need to be doing here. Another submission finish for Max Rossholt, and I know what you guys are going to say. Oh, you submitted him really easily and stuff. We're in the WFA, guys. These guys are like two-star ranking fighters. Wait until we're in the UFC. We're going to have some real tough fights in there, man. That's going to be very, very interesting to see how we do against someone like a, uh, you know, well, we're a welterweight. So against someone like a Kevin, a uh, Kevin Lee, uh, Kamaru Usman, you know, someone like that. Someone that can really, really grapple with us, can really, really stand with us. It's going to be a tough division, man. We just need to get there first and foremost. We could have gone on the Dana White Contender Series, but I kind of wanted to see if we could win a WFA title before we get into the, uh, you know, before we get into the next, um, the next lot of UFC fights, I guess. But here we go. We're seeing offer. Hopefully, it's in the top five. I'm just trying to smoke everybody now, man. I'm trying to smash everybody, and uh, we'll see how that goes. But first and foremost, we're doing pretty well. Rory Price, 9-7, and seven, 6 uh, in the rankings. I'll take it. I'll take the fight. Uh, I only want three weeks training as well. I just want to get in there, get fit, fuck the promotional stuff, get in there, smoke this boy, and then continue on. Let's rock and roll. Let's keep going. Let's climb these rankings, boys. Here we go, man. The third and final fight for today's video. We are against Rory Price. This dude's ranked number sixth in the division, so a big win over him here will get Max Ross Holt very, very high in the rankings. I'm looking to dominate. I'm looking to take him out. And uh, he's another boxer, you know, so we're going to go straight to the mat with him. We're going to see what he's about when it comes to his takedown defense. He's not very good, as we can see there. Alrighty, here we go. Let's see what he's about. We might have to just maul him for a bit. But I'm looking to get another quick finish here. I'm not looking to play around here, man. We're trying to get these boys out of here, you know? Whether we do that or not... Oh, this dude's done. Oh, a few more punches, yeah, and he was lit up. I'm looking to just literally just devour this division, bro. I want a belt. I want to get into the UFC. I need to climb these rankings. And this dude here is just a stepping stone, you know? Go. Got a little bit of a beard on Max Rossholt. Let me know if you like it. Rossholt just teeing off here. Nice counter there. Overhand. Tried to do it into a uh, leg kick. Or a leg kick, a body kick there. Okay. Oh, nice. I thought he was going to go long. With the straight. Baiting him up there. Kind of sweep it. Nice. Okay. I'm looking to constantly be uh, working on that clinch, you know? Okay, nice. Alrighty, I want this fight done quick, to be honest. I'll try and get him out of there. I want to get up the rankings as quick as possible. If that means mauling this boy, I'm going to do it. Oh, I can see that coming. That's fine. I'm trying to tee off on him, bro. Whatever's necessary to get him out of here, you know? Oh, he's done. He's done. Ross Holt's done it. <laughs> Job done. Two first round finishes in this video. Max Ross Holt does it again. I want to see where we'll be sitting now in terms of the rankings, but another big finish for him there. Ground and pound. We had him hurt on the ground, man. And once we got in there, it was like it was game over, you know? We just... There wasn't much that he could do. I feel like the ground game, there was levels. This dude was a one and a half star as well, man. Like, we're, we're three and a half now. Like, Max is he's starting to gain a little bit more when it comes to his, uh, you know, his skill set, when it comes to his ability. He's starting to, you know, he's starting to gain on them. But there you go, another big win for him. Is that 6-0? and oh? I think that's 6-0. and oh. And I know we're crushing cans at the minute. I know we're beating people that are like half a star. But trust me, when we get into the UFC, you know it's going to be a lot more difficult. You know we're going to have some trouble. Especially because there are a lot of decent strikers in the welterweight division. We're looking at Jorge Masvidal, Diaz. We're looking at some guys that are really going to want to stand. Covington's got some nice standing. Usman as well. Woodley, Lula. There are a lot of strikers in that division that are really going to give us some trouble. 
And uh, I'm excited. There are some wrestlers as well, like Ben Askren. I'm looking to fight him. He's obviously new to the game, so I'm looking forward to that one. That's going to be an interesting matchup. But anyway, guys, for today's video, I'm going to end it here. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed it, smash the like button. Comment and subscribe, and I will see you for more UFC 4 next time. Stop some guys. Have a good day, and I will see you all again in the next one.